Welcome. So I wanted to show you guys how to do a blown out, grungy, simple, smoky eye. And for this, I'm only using one eyeshadow palette and then a silvery highlighter color. So I only need to tell you guys to go two places to get the products that you would need to achieve this look. All right, so let's begin. Okay, this is uh, what I normally look like and me being a total nerd and me showing you my foundations, which are the Makeup Forever Full Cover. And then the brush I like to use to put them on is the Real Techniques Blending or Stippling Brush. And I'm just putting a little bit of that product into my eyebrows so that, that way I'm not left with redness right around the eyebrow edge and having to carve it up too much to make it look natural. So now I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Ash Blonde. Nothing new there, so we're gonna go to something else now. Okay, so as my eyeshadow base, I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Aqua Cream in O2 or 2. Um, and I'm just applying that all over with a fluffy brush. It's a silvery iridescent color and it's just gonna provide a crease proof base for the eyeshadow. So I am gonna be using the Teeny Beauty Rob Sheppy palette for this entire look. I'll be using four colors. That is the neutral brown called Pavlova. And I'm just putting that in the crease. And then I'm using the shimmery brown called Cuba Libre on the corners of the eyes and also in the crease. I will also be using a color called Bella Notte from this palette that is a shimmery gray color, and then a color called Blackout, which is a matte black. Right now I'm taking Bella Notte and putting it in the corners of my eyes and also along the lid. And then later on I'll be using Blackout for detailing work and to line my eyes. Now I'm going in with Blackout with the same fluffy brush that I've been using for all the other colors and just putting that in the corner of my eyes and also underneath my eyes. The reason I'm only using a fluffy brush for this is because I wanted to have a really grungy, blown out, soft look. And you'll only get that effect while using a fluffy brush. The thing though with using a fluffy brush for this is that you'll be flinging powder all over the place so you'll wanna do your foundation after your eyeshadow. So because I'm using a fluffy brush, there is a lot of back and forth of just building the color up, buffing the color out, building the color up, buffing the color out. And to buff the color out, I usually use a clean fluffy brush. And then I just windshield wiper it back and forth all along everything that I want to blend and you don't need to add any color to it. I'm doing the same under my eyes as well. Okay, so now I'm going in with the highlight color and you just want to place this right on top of the eyelid, right where the light would hit. So this is a color from MAC called Extra Silver and it is the Extra Dimension Eyeshadow. It basically has the payoff of a pigment it isn't, uh, it isn't a permanent color, so you can't get it anymore, but I would try NYX um, for a blue silvery reflective pigment type color, or even MAC, because um, it definitely has similar properties to other colors that I've seen. Once you've got the color placed, you just blend it all around with a clean brush, or you can even use the same brush you were using before. And I'm just trying to make sure that I have a little bit of darkness right in the corners of my eye to really emphasize that highlight. Now I'm going in with a volumizing mascara from MAC called 3D Lash. And then I'm just taking a firm lip brush and going in with the matte black to really add dimension and kind of drag my eye out and make it look a little bit more like a cat eye. And we're smudging it all around just to get that grungy, blown out look. Okay, so the sign of a true makeup artist is uh, this, this level of ridiculousness. I'm using four foundations. Yeah, four foundations. Because I want the uh, coverage of the Makeup Forever full cover, but I want the dewiness and the sheerness of the MAC face and body. I also would like to neutralize the pinkness of the Makeup Forever foundations with the yellowness of C1 and C2 in face and body. So there you have it. <laughs> so I never do a smoky eye without having something warm around the edge to break it up and make it look a little less dead. So right now I'm just pulling that underneath. It is the warm neutral color that I used in the crease. And you can see it just kind of makes it look a lot more soft and a lot less dead. So I gotta say, I got the NYX contour palette at the eye mats and I was really impressed with it. Um, so I'm just using a mixture of the colors in there to contour the hollows of my cheekbones and I'm just kind of blending it out to the edge of my face. By now I'm sure you know that I never apply a contour without blending the edge of it and making it look more natural. So that's what I'm doing with the foundation brush right there. 
Now I'm going in with a color called Golden from NYX, and this is a cream blush. I really like it because it covers my rosacea and it gives other blushes something to grab to, or you can just wear it by itself and it has a great dewy finish. So I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheeks and then buffing it out with my foundation brush. And then to set everything, I'm going in with a color from Too Faced called Candlelight and just applying that right where the light would hit my cheekbones. So first I tried to do a relatively natural lip using the MAC Dazzle Glass in Funtabulous. And you can see, I don't really like it. So then I go in with Melt Cosmetics Space Cake and that's also not quite working for me. So now I'm going in with Diva from MAC and I'm gonna line it with Night Moth. And that's actually what I ended up wearing out that night. So I had to go and I couldn't finish filming the rest of this tutorial, but I was out looking at this lipstick and not really liking it to be honest with you. But I, I do think it's good, but eh, I could do better. So I got home later that night and had obviously mad continuity issues with my hair and the rest of my makeup. And I put a uh, current on and then used space cake in the middle. So the current liner ended up giving my skin some warmth that I didn't get with just the space cake all on its own. And it also added some depth. But the space cake ended up pulling the blues from the eyeshadow and the gray shoes down to the lips, but at the same time not making me look too dead because the current was there that had the warmth. So it was kind of this perfect combination that I was really happy with and what I was going for all along. Yep. The trick to making any dark lipstick look good is to make sure you have a sharp edge between the lip and your skin. So now that I have my lipstick on, I'm going in and touching up my blush to make sure that everything balances out. And that is pretty much this makeup look. So this is how I do my hair. It doesn't last. I end up just looking like a nerd with flat hair most of the time. But um, yeah, this is basically the look. So I hope you guys like it. Let me know your feedback. I'll put links to the products below. Um, also, let me know how you're feeling about that. Thank you so much for watching and uh, subscribe, share, all that stuff if you like. If not, then you don't have to, but thanks. Bye.